filming a what I eat in a day video for you guys. This has been one of my most requested videos. So I thought today I will film it for you guys. So let's get into the video. I have been eating out a lot recently. So for this week, for the entire week, right, I wanted to take up this challenge where I eat only at home, no outside food at all. Even if I'm starving, I wouldn't care. I just wanted to like eat at home because my gut health has been going through a toss because I have to pack my own meals to go to the office. I have been finding every little excuse to eat lunch out, which means I am eating junk food every single day because there's no healthy food restaurant next to my office it's all like kfc cumin and all of that fast food joints so i've been eating burgers or like chicken rolls every day is one week i challenged myself to eat only home cooked meals for like the entire week and that's why i did a proper research and realized that eating home cooked seasonal foods no packaged foods can really have a massive impact in a good way to your gut health so that's what i've been doing and i wanted to share it with you guys as well it's been a week and i think it has been already working for me and it has been really easy on my digestive system and stuff like that and i thought it might really help a few of you guys so keep watching the first thing that i have every time after i wake up is a glass of water this is like a non-negotiable for me and then the next thing that i have is this uh detox water or like tea that i uh, showed you in my last video a quarter teaspoon of cumin seeds coriander seeds and fennel seeds you just like boil it in two glasses of water and let it steep i guess that's a word to one glass of water and like drink it that's like the second thing that i drink after water and then usually not usually but like at least three times a week or like max four times i try to also include a juice in my diet i usually do some sort of thing with ginger because ginger is really amazing for gut health so today i did cucumbers lemons and uh ginger so this is amazing i don't have a juice or so i put everything into the mixie and like grind it and filter it and this is just perfect and this is also light on your body when you're drinking it first thing in the morning and it is really good for you And I also got a new phone. It's the iPhone 15 in pink. I love it. It looks so aesthetic and cute. And I think this is my color. And this is kind of the time if you have any supplements and you want to take it. For this period, I've kind of stopped taking supplements. So there's none. But usually when I am taking supplements, it's pretty simple. It's Cosmix What Women Want. It's Cosmix Healthy Hair. And then it is HK Vitals uh, Hair Health Gummies. And then that's when I sit and do all the work that I have. I kind of lace around reply to texts and like basically be on my phone and like pass time but after that i get into my breakfast I just thought I'll have a little bit of this. This is this actually used to be little balls that my mom made. I think it is made out of sesame oil and like I'm really not sure. I'll just list out the ingredients here after I ask her but this is meant to be really healthy for your entire body like your bone health, your period health and stuff like that. So I just like grab a spoon of this and eat whenever I remember. I usually tend to forget that this even exists. So like today I did so I'm just gonna eat like a quick spoon of this. This smells good. This much would do. I'm also gonna take another bite. Let me just put it back and let's start making breakfast. For breakfast, I'm thinking um, I'll go with a smoothie. In my last video, I mentioned that I start with eating pomegranate first thing because it acts as a detox. But today, since I do not have any pomegranate and I'm also pretty full from the juice that I had and it's been only one hour, having a smoothie for breakfast really kickstarts my day and it adds in a lot of greens as well without me having to cook it or anything. I add this much of the spinach. I know it's a lot but it kind of blends into your smoothie and gives it that beautiful green color and also it tastes really nice i've been obsessed with spinach smoothies And then to this, I'm also going to add a little bit of this, which is uh, like a nuts and seeds powder, which my mom made again. This has all kinds of seeds and nuts like uh, sunflower seeds, um, pumpkin seeds and nuts like walnuts, almonds, cashews and everything into my smoothie. This is the peanut butter that I'm using. It's from this brand called Velvi. Uh, it's peanut butter with chia seeds. I got it from the Organic World store. It's almost done, but I'm just going to use the last bits of it. 
And then finally, you can also add milk into it, but I'm not gonna do that today. Just water. Okay guys, I just wanted to come in here and talk to you guys about this one product that I've been absolutely loving and this part of the video is sponsored by the Dermaco. So I am always on the lookout for different skincare products and new products in the market and stuff like that. And blemishes and dark spots are something that every human faces and there are so many solutions that you can actually use to like get rid of them, conceal them and all of that. And I've been using one product which has always been great for these concerns and that is the Dermaco's 2% Niacinamide Hydrating BB Cream with SPF 30 and PA++. One one reason I think that this BB cream stands out compared to every other BB creams in the market is because usually BB creams only help in concealing the dark spots and like temporarily helping you hide it but these as it contains niacinamide also helps in healing them. The 2% niacinamide that it has helps in clearing out the acne marks and also giving you an even skin tone overall and it also has 1% hyaluronic acid and a quaxil which adds up to the hydration of your skin and makes it look nice and plump. So this product not only works with concealing your acne marks and under eye bags especially for me. It also simultaneously helps in healing the acne scars and then it comes in three different shades and not just one shade like most of the BB creams in the markets do. So I'm gonna swatch all three for you guys. So firstly we have Ivory which is a beautiful pale color with a neutral undertone. This is nude. So this has a warmer undertone compared to the first one but this will suit all of my medium skin tone girlies. We have warm beige. So this is a darker shade. This is how it looks on my face. And as you can tell, the middle one is like my closest match. I'm so glad that I came across this launch and that it has my perfect shade. So I'm just gonna use it all over my face. Guys, I am truly in love with how naturally it blends into my skin and it literally looks like my natural skin. This BB cream has really helped me with pigmentation and a uh, few dark spots that I had as well. And a lot of you on Instagram also asked me about my under eye uh, circles. I think this could be a reason because this is one product that I wear all day. So if you have a similar issue, I highly recommend you guys check this product out. And always make sure you guys do a patch test before uh, using any product. And also don't forget your sunscreens. I love applying this underneath my BB cream it's always the Dermaco's sunscreen and also there is more to Dermaco it not only contributes to your skincare routine it also contributes to a noble cause so the Dermaco has empowered 10,000 plus students this year through their young scientists initiative and every purchase you make through Dermaco on their official website they will link your order to a child that they help educate along with Boomi and also all the products now on Dermaco are fragrance free ensuring that you have a peaceful experience with your skincare routine and you you guys as usual will get a flat 20% off if you use my coupon code which is ananya2023 on their official website but Dermaco products are also available on Nika, Flipkart and Amazon. I will link all of these in the description box below. You guys can go check it out. And also my Big Basket order just got delivered. I've literally been buying all of my groceries on Big Basket and Zepto. I think it could be an experience going to the grocery store and like slowly looking around but I don't think it could be a regular thing for me. I just like think it's a lot of energy and work that you have to do but this is just easy so and all the organic stuff that I buy at the organic world is also available on these apps so like I have no reason to go out at all so this is all that I have I have basin bananas mushrooms broccoli cantaloupe some cut pumpkin and then we have uh, organic white rice because white rice is so much easier to digest compared to brown rice when I'm working on my gut health this is what I want and then I have chaat masala lunch I've decided to make some jeera rice and like some veggies along with it the reason I'm stressing uh, on all these veggies is because for gut health you're supposed to eat food from like different food categories and not just one and this is apparently supposed to help your gut bacteria and like your food microbiome I think that's like the term I'm not really sure it's gonna be a packed lunch so the menu is gonna be carrot salad corn and broccoli and some jeera rice The girls 
that get it, get it. The girls are don't, don't. Great for hormone balancing. It's great for gut health and all of that. You can just sprinkle some lemon. Half a lemon. And then to this, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Instead of the lemon, you guys can do apple cider vinegar or like just normal vinegar. Mix it up. You can also add olive oil, but I don't like it. So I'm just gonna do this. I just got ready to go to the office. Now I'm gonna quickly fill up the bento box and leave. I've been obsessed with washing these bento box reels. And here we have ours. I got it from this Korean store called Mumuso. It's a little bit later in the day, actually very much later in the day. I got back from the office and I took a nice warm shower. I also boiled some chickpeas for today's dinner. And if you can't already tell, I'm extremely tired. I woke up at 6 in the morning and I started filming at 6 and I haven't stopped filming yet. So for dinner, I usually have pumpkin soup or carrot soup or some veggie soup. Uh, so today I'm going to make pumpkin soup because it's one of my favorite. I've been loving pumpkin soup for this weather. You can call it autumn, fall or whatever. We do not have that in India. But like I absolutely love romanticizing seeds seasons like that even though we do not have distant seasons in India so this is fall and I am making pumpkin soup so I've boiled this I'm gonna keep it aside and start making the pumpkin soup it's super easy you guys will see right now all you need is some pumpkin I have these cut pumpkins they also have some peeled garlic right here onions are important so like these are literally all the three ingredients you need for this soup so I love making this Food's getting ready. Please ignore my hair. It's like the most untamed right now. I'm watching the series on Netflix. It's called Virgin River. Let me know if you guys have watched it. It's actually really nice. I'm enjoying it so far. It's very nice and slow and very much fall appropriate because it kind of happens in this woods and like the whole color scheme of the entire series is very much fall appropriate and I love it. And there's no drama as such. You need to have this mood to sit and watch the series and I think it's really nice. Just like coming back home, wanting to really wind down with the series and like pumpkin soup is just the perfect night for me currently. The oil is so frozen, I'm trying to get it out. And finally, 